Hey, what is going on, everybody? Sam Dog Nip, Miss Two Five Three, coming at you guys with a with some with a quick news on the Seahawks. And I just got back from work, so this is something that that I totally disagree with. Jaron Reed has been suspended for the first six games of the regular season, and I got the article up from Pro Football Talk, which Jaron Reed totally disagrees with the suspension. While apologizing for putting himself in a position. For the NFL to punish him, Seahawks defensive tackle Jerry Reed made it clear he totally disagree, disagrees with the six-game suspension. I apologize to those close to me, including my family, the entire Seahawks organization, and fans of the team, putting myself in a position where I could be disciplined. Reed wrote on his social media, while I totally disagree with the decision of the NFL, I still must accept it and take responsibility for the situation I have learned from this and will do everything I can to make my friends, family, teammates, fans, and the Seahawks proud of me moving forward. The NFL suspended Reed six games for violating NFL's personal conduct policy. In April of 2017, a woman told police Reed assaulted her. Police did not arrest or charge Reed. And the thing about that, man, for all we know, the, the lady that could have accused him could be lying out her ass to try to get something out of Reed. Now, if he didn't get charged or arrested for it, man, then he should not have been freaking suspended for those six games, man. But then again, the NFL's kind of crooked. I mean... I mean, take Tyreek Hill, for example. He broke his kid's arm, and he all he got was a fucking slap on the wrist, man. And he still gets to fucking play, man, and he's not suspended? You can't tell me that's not fucking bullshit, you know what I mean? I mean, this is going to be definitely a huge hit to our freaking defense, especially through the first six games. So, obviously, other guys are going to have to step up. Like, hopefully, if he stays healthy, Nas Jones, Nazir Jones is going to have to freaking come, come back and step up in a big way. And so is, like, second year pass rusher Rasheem Green and of course we're going to have Ziggy Ansah now on our defense I mean it's another big hit since you know ever since we traded Frank Clark because Jared Reed is one of our biggest big time is a vital part of our freaking pass rush which means he can go in there and freaking you know get some pressures and disrupt runs and get sacks too I mean I'm I'm I'm, I'm fucking pissed about this though but it is what it is he's not gonna try to try to try to argue it again he's just gonna accept it i mean he did appeal he did try to appeal appeal it on friday this appeal against it on friday and apparently they didn't they didn't accept it and now he's gonna be out for the first six games it's gonna be a tough stretch i mean obviously the first six games we play cincinnati pittsburgh new orleans in week three freaking arizona week four the rams in week five and the browns in week six those are going to be some tough matchups too, especially you know playing the Rams and the Saints, and then of course that new Cleveland Browns, you know new look Cleveland Browns teams, and obviously not having that pass rush with Jaron Reed's presence is going to his his absence will be felt on the pass rush. So, yeah, it's going to be a hard stress, but I ain't going to worry about it. But I am going to say this though: it means our offense is really going to have to step up if our defense is going to struggle a bit. Then our offense is. Gotta hope our offense is gonna be freaking good with that new receiver quarter we got. So we're gonna have to be scoring a shit ton of touchdowns to keep ourselves in games and hope to win games, you know. But I know we haven't gotten the eye test yet, so that's still to come. But um, thought I'd come at you guys with with this quick video about the Jaren, my thoughts on the whole Jaron Reed suspension, and um, I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym just so I get out this before I head to the gym. So um, thank you all for tuning in and training camp this Thursday and until then if you ain't with it you ain't infamous and as always go Seahawks